Wow, now that we've zoomed in two times, you can really see the differences. Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to discuss one of the options that can help you capture pin sharp photos when mapping by getting the drone to slow down before each picture. The need for this will depend on a number of factors, such as the drone you're using, your expected speed, etc. I started looking into this when the results from a mapping mission using my Mavic Air 2S at 15 mile per hour were not as good as I had hoped and nowhere near as good as the results I had obtained using my Phantom 4 Pro with its mechanical shutter. So for drones that don't have a camera designed for this work, such as the Air 2S, we can overcome this by using a little known feature called Capture Speed. By setting the capture speed to a low value, such as 1 mile per hour, the drone will slow to that speed before each picture is taken, dramatically improving the picture quality. So, how do we do that? First, make sure you're in the Expert mode by clicking the Hamburger menu and then selecting Expert. It'll give you a warning. Click Continue. Once you're in Expert mode, go into your map and click on the Map setting. Scroll down to the section that says Verify File Created and you'll see this section called Capture Speed. If you don't see Capture Speed, it might be that that option isn't available in your plan and you may need to upgrade. Change the capture speed to one mile per hour and then save the mission. It's as simple as that. One thing I do want to point out is that slowing the drone down for each photo will add time to the mission. If we look at the estimate without that setting, it says it's going to take 2 minutes 25 seconds. This is just a short test mission. If I change the capture speed to 1 mile per hour and run that again, you'll see it now says 3 minutes 59 seconds. So we've basically doubled the amount of time that it's going to take to run mission. So this is definitely something to consider. You're going to be trading time for capture speed quality. Now let's go run this mission and see what a difference it makes. So here we are running the two mapping missions side by side. The panel on the left is showing a mapping mission that just continues at 15 mile per hour. Whereas the panel on the right is showing a mapping mission with the capture speed set to one mile per hour. As you can see, the one on the right slows to one mile per hour before taking a photo and then moves on. But the proof of the pudding is in the results. So let's jump in and take a look at an image from each of the different mapping missions. I think you can see that the image on the right is much sharper. So dropping to one mile per hour before taking photos does seem to make a difference. But to really highlight the differences, I'm going to zoom in two times. And here we are and what a difference this makes. You can really see that the image on the right is so much sharper than the image on the left. I picked this part of the image because the lines on the pool and the roof really highlight the differences. Before we wrap up, I did want to mention that there's another way to stop the drone completely so that you can take photos and also add in additional features such as auto exposure bracketing, adjusting gimbal angles and so on. And that is to convert the mission to an inspection mission. It's a more advanced technique and does require you to convert the mission. So I didn't really want to cover this in detail here, but if this is something people were interested in, let me know and I can add this as a future 5 Minute Friday. Anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you found that useful. As always, I love to hear your comments, so feel free to leave a comment or a question and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.